this video is part of a playlist. Um, be sure to check out the full playlist in the description of the video, especially the video right before this because we're adding on to a script we made in the last video. So currently I'm in a directory that has a couple of files. I wrote a script that allows me to select those which file I want. So I can say uh, the name of our script dot slash, meaning in this folder, this file, this script I want to run, file man, when I hit that, it says please select a file and then I can choose a number such as number six and it says you, your file is, and it echoes out the file. And if I was to press eight, it would quit. And if I select an option that does not exist, it would tell me to try again. But let's say all the files in here are files. Let's say I want to make a directory called dir1 and I want to put files inside there. So I'll just copy uh, all the files in the current directory into that directory. And then I will copy dir1 to dr dir2, make sure I do it reclusive, so I copy the files as well. So now I can list out the files in dir1 and the files in dir2. So let's say I want to move into directory, so I want to be able to select a file that's inside one of those folders. And well, my current script, when I run it, if I was to choose, in this case, 8 for dir2, it tells me I chose that file, but doesn't actually move into that directory. Let's make it so we can move into that directory. So I'm going to now edit my script, and I'm going to put what I have so far into a function that I can call. So I'm gonna select all these lines and indent them. And again, I'm using Vim as my text editor, but use whatever text editor you find uh, most useful that you enjoy. Uh, so I'm gonna create a function, I'll call it get file. And instead of having uh, this echo command here, so let's exit out of here. You can see that it says, please select file. And then we have this prompt here. Let's go ahead and not have that up there. We could have a message up there, but we're gonna actually put that down at the prompt here. So let's go ahead in here and we're actually gonna change this to say PS3 equals, and we're gonna give it this prompt. So that will show up in the prompt line rather than up at the top of the, the script. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to clear the screen because I think it's going to make things cleaner when we call this function. And uh, we are now going to create uh, or check the existence of a file. So outside of our function, we're going to create an if then statement. So we're going to say if and then inside braces, we're going to say uh, exclamation mark dash f and we're going to say dollar sign file then and close our if then statement so what this is saying is check if this is a file and then we're going to say if it's not so that's the exclamation mark it says if it's not a file the file that we're looking at then run this and of course uh, the file does not exist at this point so it should return that it doesn't exist at this point uh, we will then say um, a while loop, so we're going to say while one, so it's going to loop continuously, we're going to say do, or do, and we'll close our while loop, and now we're going to call our function get file. Now we're going to check the return of that, so we have to have it this function change our variable here. So we're gonna say file will now equal uh, the present working directory forward slash and our file name that we just grabbed up here. Now we're gonna say double braces space dash D file dollar sign file and CD dollar sign file. So what this is saying is, okay, we're going to run this function. This function is going to create our variable called file, which will be our present working directory and whatever file or folder is selected. 
Now that that function has run, we're now going to check, is that a directory? The dash D says, is this a directory? Is our variable here a directory? If it is, let's move into that directory. Then we're going to say, well, if it's a file, so if the file we select is not a directory, it's actually a file, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to check that, and if that's true, we're just going to break out of our loop here, break out of this while loop. And so we are kind of done here. Let's go ahead and save that. If I typed everything properly, I should be able to run that script now. And you can see that we have moved our prompt down here rather than at the top. And now we can select a file or a folder. So if I press 4, it says your file is, and I chose file3.txt. But if I run the script again, this time I choose 6, which is a directory, it moves into that directory. Now I'm looking at the files within direct that directory, and I can choose whichever file inside that directory. And I can continue on and on. So if I was to move into uh, dir2 in this case and make a new directory, I'll call it new dir, and I move it neuter, that's funny. Uh, move into <laughs> neuter, and I will create a file in here called file.txt. I can say this is, is a file with some text. And I can create a second file, file2. This is the second file. It has three lines, anything in there. So now I can go back out and I can run my script again. And if I was to choose eight, which is dir2, and here I was to choose two, which is our neuter, and I was to choose one of our files here, I'm gonna choose um, two. It says that I chose that file. I can adjust my script file menu that when it's done, once a file is selected, once we break out of that, I can now cat dollar sign file. And that should work. Let's see. We're going to choose 8, 2, and 2. And it says your file is, and then it listed out the contents. And this is a great way, rather than having the user type in the file name, where the user can type something incorrectly. We're kind of forcing them to select something from a list, and if they select something wrong, it prompts them to try again. They can always quit. Uh, the only other tweak that we could probably do this is that you'll probably notice the first option is always dot, because um, when we do uh, the find command, it's showing dot, which is the current directory. And we could also probably add a little tweak to remove uh, these dot slashes when it's listing the files. But our script does work. It's the, the, the basics of it. Again, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description of this video to the script so you can go and, uh, and download it and give it a try. Uh, I thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed this, if you found it useful, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash melex1000. There should be a link in the description of that. Even something as small as a dollar a month is greatly appreciated and really helps out. If you can't afford to spare a dollar a month um, and you still like my videos and want to be a supporter, think about liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. That really helps out a lot. Comment below. Let me know what you think. If you did like this, this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Mm -hmm.